Esteban Ocon is one of Formula One's hottest properties. The 20-year-old Frenchman is part of the sport's new generation of racers, fresh-faced but razor-sharp from an early age. I was 24 when I first entered Formula One, and that was young, uh, even back then in 1989. So it was having people like Max Verstappen and Carlos Sainz and Esteban Ocon, for example, you know, and uh, Sebastian Vettel. They were teenagers when they came in. It's expected that much like his old adversary, Max Verstappen, who Ocon beat to the Formula Three European Championship in 2014, he's destined for a top seat, the Frenchman likely to race for Mercedes in future. Mercedes AMG is my main sponsor uh, this season, so, uh, so for sure, uh, I mean, if you're on a program like that, the, the normal uh, way is to be driving the, the CURO in the future, but uh, at the moment, I'm a Force India driver. At Force India, Sergio Perez is the current top man, having outqualified Ocon 10-3 and outraced him 8-3 when they could be compared. But the Frenchman outqualified the Mexican at two of the last three races. And if the trend continues, expect more fireworks, as we've seen between the pair in Canada, Azerbaijan, Hungary, and most dramatically in Belgium, costing the team valuable points. I think the leader of the team is the one that uh, gets the best results, and I've been the one who got the best results in the past, in the past couple of years. With its rivals Mercedes, Ferrari, and Red Bull racing ahead on pure pace in the dry, and Williams and Toro Rosso trailing, the Force India pair is, in a regular race, locked into their own private battle. Both have something to prove. Perez's eyes on a top drive, despite being dropped by McLaren after a single season in 2013. Ocon's on that Silver Arrows drive. The team may have new rules of engagement to prevent further clashes, but rules are meant to be broken. It's game on at Force India. TheInsideLine.com for everything Formula One.